video we will discuss about uh, how to enable copilot in power bi desktop for right for writing the dax measures so the first thing which you will need to do is to sign in with your uh, email id and uh, second thing would be to load your data set so i am currently i am loading my sample data set So once your data is loaded into the Power BI desktop application, uh, you can go to the file menu and you can go to the options and settings, click on options and uh, you need to go to the preview feature and make sure that the quick measure suggestions is enabled. So this is already enabled for me so i will click on the ok button and it is done but for you you will have to you will get an option uh, to reboot your power bi desktop application you will need to reboot it and uh, the second important thing which you need to do is to go to your uh, app.powerbi.com and go to the admin portal click on this gear icon scroll below go to the admin portal and in the admin portal uh, within the tenant settings you need to go below uh, you need to go below in the quick measure suggestions and you have to make sure that both of these two options is enabled for the organization okay so once you have done uh, these steps which I have mentioned before uh, and uh, you when you click on the quick measure you will get this uh, uh, suggestion with copilot option enabled if you have not done the previous steps then this will be grayed out and you won't be able to use this so once I click on the suggestions with copilot uh, I will get an option to basically write uh, uh, means uh, uh, to write something uh, in order to create the DEX measures. So suppose I want to find the total sales. See, I'm getting some suggestions below total sales uh, where uh, country is uh, Canada. Okay. So I'm getting some suggestions total sales where country is Canada. So I will click on the generate button and uh, uh, you have to make sure you will get some suggestions over here. So here you are getting total sales where country is Canada. So in the current uh, case, this you can you will have to check the DEX measures as well. Uh, you must have some understanding on the DEX measures, and uh, you need to make sure that the DEX which is uh, which is being given by the suggestion is correct. Okay. So once you are satisfied with this, and uh, you can add it. Now when you add it. Uh, you can change the name of the measure. So let me write it as Canada uh, Sales. Okay. So uh, I have done this. Click anywhere else, and uh, this is. Uh, if you go there, you can see this. This is the measure which is being created by the copilot in the Power BI desktop application. So this is this is the step in order to enable the copilot in the desktop application. I hope you find this video very useful and uh, you can use copilot in power bi desktop for writing the dex measures in the similar similar manner and uh, if you find this use video useful you can like it and you can subscribe the channel and you can click on the bell icon so that you remain updated with the future videos will i will be posting on power bi thank you for joining bye bye